Hi guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this time we're actually doing something different and yeah. <laughs> Um, if you guys couldn't tell by the title, we're doing a micro trailer home. So I really wanted to use debug in this build. I don't know. I was feeling, uh, well, I use debug in like most of my builds as well. But like for this build particularly, I just wanted to do something fun, small, you know, just not a big project. I really love working with small homes, like, I don't know, micro homes or like, yeah, tiny homes. And then I also like working on like massive giant projects. There's like no in between. Personally, I find like just your average family home quite boring. I don't know. I feel like everybody does that on like for speed builds, right? So I I feel like working with tiny, tiny homes or like super massive homes are like something that I really do enjoy on The Sims. So yeah. Um, yeah so this is my micro home it was at first a struggle trying to keep this under 32 tiles i thought it was gonna be easy going into this build going to yeah i was like i got this you know 32 tiles pff, that's nothing and you know later on you see me in the videos just struggle for the bathroom especially oh gosh um <laughs> But overall, I think it did turn out great. Um, I do like this house. In fact, I made it that it's that it's a starter home. So like, how great is that? You know, I killed two birds with one stone. So I will post this on the gallery. Our our, our yeah, our origin ID is uh, Studio Simmers. So if you guys want to download this tiny trailer micro home thing, you guys totally can. And it's under 20k, which is super amazing if you want to start off your game with this. So yeah, uh, inside uh, you guys can see me add like a tiny fridge. I thought that was so smart. Like I was using my like two brain cells and I thought of using a tiny fridge. Obviously that for me, I thought that was like so, such a smart idea because then you could put the microwave on top and you could, like you have two appliances on one tile. So yeah. I do love how the kitchen turned out as well. Inside, I just wanted to keep it as colorful as possible. Like the kitchen cabinets, they match like the truck outside. Um, you know, I kind of imagine whoever lived here was into plants and all that gardeny, naturey stuff. Uh, yeah, because this this build has a lot of debug colorful plants. <laughs> yeah, so. I just wanted to add a lot of greenery and everything and I really thought that the plants and all in this build and like the colors especially brought everything together. So yeah, I really do like how it turned out in the end. I tried to use like pastel colors <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell inside. Um, but like the only pastel color I could I found was like tur like turquoise teal blue and like that orange for the bed but either way it looked it looked really nice and i'm pretty happy with it <laughs> so um you guys can obviously see me try to like use as less space as possible and yeah i just really like how this house became because it's not like your average tiny home or micro home should i say on like on a lot just by itself right like just the house with the roof on it, it it's like a trailer and I have seen these before like on on the internet or like on a YouTube video or on TV I just I've seen one of these houses where like there's a trailer and the trailers literally towing a, like a tiny home and I thought that was such a cool idea I had to include it and yeah originally I did want to make it to le two levels but I'm like okay that's a bit too ambitious because I only had two, 20 what 32 tiles to work with so um yeah I just had to settle with one one level but either way it looked fine and the washroom honestly I'm gonna be honest it was the struggle like it was the most hardest part for me to build. Uh, you guys obviously don't see it here, but I skipped out on a lot of clips of me trying to rearrange the whole rectangle of space that I had to fit the bathroom. Oh my goodness, it was such a nightmare. This took me an hour to build. I, I really thought it would take me only like, what, 30 minutes? Because it was so small. 
but I didn't really have anything planned. That's to be fair. So um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. I also added a glass roof. Um, you know, I just thought, why not go crazy? <laughs> not crazy, but like I've never seen a tiny home with a glass roof. So why not? So yeah, I thought it also made the house feel more open. You know. I don't know, and like when you're laying in bed with that pull-out Murphy couch thing that came with Tiny Living, when you lay down and then you can see like, I don't know, the stars, <laughs> if realistically speaking, obviously, but like since there's a glass roof there, you'd obviously be able to see the sky at night. And you know what? That is, that is home goals or house goals <laughs> or whatever. I want to have a glass roof in my home, but like that could be freaky as well. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys can just see me fiddle around with little things and here and there. Uh, I did try to like just add some clutter or what I call clutter. I just try to add some stuff on the counters to not make it seem like too clean. I wanted to make it feel like someone has been here or lived here because outside there was like a bunch of plants that I added around the trailer. Um, I just wanted this place to feel like overgrown sometimes somehow like maybe this person has settled down here for a long time and like plants started to grow around it or something or yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know what the story is behind this trailer park house thing but uh, I did add a couple activity things that you can do I also did add some pumpkins seeing as it's so close to fall oh my goodness fall is almost here I I'm so done with summer of 2020 it was pretty bad honestly not gonna lie but um yeah so I did add like a pumpkin just a little hint for fall coming and yeah and then I moved on to outside I really do love the color of the truck I I don't know why I used a truck there were so many other options I could have used if you guys don't know um, these the car or the truck I used was from debug um, also, the trailer piece thing was also from Debug. It's so good for making trailers and everything. And I thought it was so cool to have, you know, just something that made it look, make, make, makes house look different, you know, make your build look different. Anyways, the outside was pretty simple. I really do love landscaping with so many Debug plants and everything. I just, there's something about it that's probably like my favorite thing to do in The Sims. I did give this lot a bit of um, pine trees to make it look like you were in the forest. Obviously, you're not, but um, you could al always move this to like a, tr a lot with more trees, obviously, to make it seem like a forest. Maybe in Windenburg. I don't know. It's up to you. But I will be posting this not on the gallery, so don't forget to check that out and see if you like it or not. But yeah. That, that's pretty much it. Yeah, the bill came to an end so fast. Um, I don't, I was debating whether on doing a voiceover or not, but like I thought, why not? You know, like you guys obviously want to hear my lovely voice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's it. If you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave the thumbs up, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.